Tonight's Smashing Pumpkins concert in Chicago is about more than music. The band raised money to help a Good Samaritan and fellow musician who was badly injured while trying to help a stranger. ABC 7's Karen Jordan has the story live for us tonight from Metro. Karen? Hi, Cheryl. Where? Well, the Metro is very special to the Smashing Pumpkins. It was here 22 years ago that the band took the stage and launched their careers. But they're making tonight's homecoming all about a fellow musician who was attacked while trying to do the right thing. It's the first time in 10 years that the Smashing Pumpkins are performing in their hometown of Chicago. Hours before they took the stage at the Metro, their fans lined up around the block, excited to see their favorite band and to take part in a worthwhile cause. We just think it's great that uh, Chicago bands come together like this and uh, support each other. I think uh, the Pumpkins are raising awareness by doing this show, and this is a perfect way to do it. I would have never heard about the cause had it not been for the concert. The concert is a fundraiser for Matthew Leone, a bassist in Medina Lake, a local band. Last month, Leone was beaten severely after he tried to step in and help a woman who was being beaten by her husband. The attack left Leone with brain injuries. Doctors had to remove part of his skull. News of the attack reached Pumpkin's frontman, Billy Corgan, who decided to help. When somebody does the right thing in, in, in the world, we have to back them up. The ability to lend my... Uh, my uh, energy and my band to, to this uh, to helping this young man with these big medical bills um, is just so simple for me. It wasn't anything I had to think about. But it means the world to Matthew's twin brother and bandmate Nathan, who has been by his brother's side through two brain surgeries. He says Matthew has a long road ahead physically and financially. He has no insurance and his medical bills could reach a half million dollars. But Nathan says all of the support and help they've received is incredible. We are the biggest Smashing Pumpkins fans there is, you know, and um, our whole lives, that's, that's what gave us a career in music, or inspired us to, to have a career in music. Ticket sales for the concert have brought in at least $60,000, and that will all go to the Matthew Leone Fund. Also, Governor Pat Quinn signed a proclamation declaring this Matthew Leone Day. Live in Lakeview, Karen Jordan, ABC 7 News. Ron, back to you. All right, thanks, Karen. A night to rock out and raise money for fellow Chicagoan Medina Lake bassist Matthew Leone. He's had two brain surgeries in the last month and remains hospitalized. His twin brother and bandmate Nathan still can't believe the Smashing Pumpkins, the band they grew up admiring, is raising money for them. This so quickly turned into an outpouring of, of compassion and positivity and, and support that is just beautiful. Leone was badly beaten late last month after trying to help a woman whose husband was badly beating her on the street. The couple took off and left Leone for dead. Justin Pivik has since been arrested and charged. Leone, who doesn't have insurance, now has hundreds of thousands of dollars in medical bills. One of the many reasons those who lined up for the concert say they are here. It'll be really heartwarming for him to hear that all these people are coming out to help him. A good person came through and did something that they thought was right, and it's unfortunate that it turned out like this. Smashing Pumpkins frontman Billy Corgan rerouted the band's tour to headline tonight's benefit. I think there's nothing more noble than when a man stands up for a woman, and even more noble for a man to stand up for a woman that he didn't even know. One horrible, say, entity has just been completely overwhelmed. Judy. Hey, Dina, Matthew Leone is a Chicago musician who earlier this month helped a woman in distress. He saw a fight. He intervened to try to save her. He sustained severe head injuries himself. And tonight, fellow musicians are helping him with his mounting medical bills. Among them here at Metro, the headliner, Smashing Pumpkins. <laughs> The band took the stage at about 9.30 tonight here in the 3700 block of North Clark. Billy Corrigan was the original one who said he would come, then enlisted the rest of his band. He said it's all about Chicago musicians helping a Chicago musician. The energy right now has been organized around the Pumpkins playing here tonight at the Metro. But um, everyone I've talked to is, is, you know, it's about making sure that he gets to a place of full recovery. There's a real extra layer of emotional uh, interest and support for this person because of what he did. 
The Smashing Pumpkins helping to sell out the Metro Tuesday night, a benefit concert for Matthew Leone, a Chicago musician severely injured earlier this month. Leone intervened in a domestic dispute in the 1300 block of West Ohio. He is still recovering from severe head injuries. Well, you want to do Smashing Pumpkins? I said, you haven't played here in 10 years. The last show was here 10 years ago. So this is a momentous, a big, mo big moment, a historic moment. Other bands also lending their talents and support. I think it's an issue that concerns all musicians and really anyone who doesn't have access to insurance. If someone has a medical emergency, it can be a catastrophe. It can haunt them for the rest of their lives. The proceeds will go to Matthew Leone and the Matthew Leone Fund through sweetrelief.org. And Governor Quinn at Metro with a proclamation honoring Leone. Well, I declared it uh, Matt Leone Day across the land of Lincoln. I think it's important to help uh, a real special man who's a hero. At the same time, uh, I gave a contribution to the cause. Uh, anytime somebody needs a helping hand, I think Illinois citizens uh, band together, not for profit, for a good cause. And this is a real good cause tonight. And if you would like to be part of the Matthew Leone contribution and helping him pay for those medical bills, you can log on to WGNTV.com. We'll link you to SweetRelief.org. Mima, if you'd like to see more of the Smashing Pumpkins and their uh, date here, because they're leaving for Asia tomorrow morning. This just happened to be a free day they had. If you want to see more of what they had to do here tonight at the Metro, you can watch WGNTV's morning news beginning at 5 a.m.